Hey gang, I got an offer for you today from LinkedIn. As business-to-business marketers, your needs are unique. B2B buying cycles are long and your customers face incredibly complex decisions. Isn't it time you had a marketing platform built specifically for you? LinkedIn ads empower marketers with solutions for you and your customers. LinkedIn ads allow you to build the right relationships, drive results, and reach your customers in a respectful environment. On LinkedIn, you have direct access to build relationships with decision makers. Of the 875 million users on the network, 180 million are senior level executives, 10 million are C-level executives. You will also be able to drive results with targeting and measuring with their tools built specifically for B2B. And best of all, they work. Audiences exposed to brand messages on LinkedIn are six times more likely to convert. LinkedIn ads also rank number one for security, community, and ad experience as part of the Business Insider's Digital Trust Study. Make B2B marketing everything you can be and get $100 credit. It's $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash MPN to claim your credit. It's linkedin.com slash MPN. P-N. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Enigma. This is Seth Goldstein. It's time for another Entrepreneur's Enigma. I'm your host, Seth Goldstein with Goldstein Media. Today, we are here with the awesome, amazing Laura Templeton of 30secondsuccess.com. 30second success. There's no S after the second. It's 32nd success. You have, 30, you have success after 30 seconds. But it's 30 second. That's the time window there. Um, so welcome, Laura. How are you today? I am doing well. Thank you so much for having me today, Seth. It's great to see you. Oh, it's always a pleasure. I've known Laura for a while. She was a fellow member of the Central Box Chamber for a while. Then she's like, it's too wacky up here with the weather. I'm going to go down to a place where it's normally just as wacky, but hasn't been Florida. <laughs> we're getting the tornadoes, we're getting the hurricanes, and they have beautiful weather down there. So, lucky duck. You know, so, it's all about, you know, it's all about where you live. Um, it is, if we, it is. Yeah, it really is. And I think, you know, for us, it was, it's, it's, this was a dream that we've had on our That's vision board awesome. for a long time and made it happen. Yeah, she's definitely a business person. If you hear vision board, she had, <laughs> we had it on our vision board. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. I, and it was yeah. our vision board, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, not just me. You got to do it. Exactly. Yeah, everybody's got to be involved. So. Goals. You have to have goals and yeah. goals, you know, and one of the goals would be to go out and get her book. 30secondsuccess.com. Well, at 30secondsuccess.com, but it's called 30 Second Success. It's got a picture of her of her in the front and stitching the pitch and start connecting. And it is a great read. I was lucky enough to get our advanced copy back when she was publishing it. I'm actually, I was shocked. I was like, I'm number one in like the quotes in the beginning. I'm like, oh, I'm special. Yay. <laughs> But, you know, well, you know, everybody's book. special, but you know, I just had to, I loved what you had to say about it. So you got to, yeah, be I'm, a big, I'm a big, I'm a big networker. I, you know, I, I'm still always crafting my 30 seconds. You know, sometimes it's more like a minute. Sometimes, sometimes it's 20 seconds. Most of the time it's over 30, but what is the power of the 30 seconds? Like, can you enlighten us? Like why 30 seconds? Why not 45? Why not 33 seconds? Like what's, well, 33 would be stupid, but no. The mindset between, behind 30 seconds is just to give people a snippet, give them just enough to want to know more. It's almost like giving them a teaser. Think about, I mean, it's marketing 101. Mm -hmm. If you think about TV commercials, they're done in 30 second increments. People pay millions of dollars to have yeah. a 30 second ad during the NFL football, you know, like the mm -hmm. big show, right? So there's so much that goes in, there's so much power when you can really tighten up your message to a very short, succinct 30 seconds and mm -hmm. deliver it well, mm -hmm. that inspires people that are in your target audience, target audience is important, um, to really want to know more about you and how you serve your, serve your clients. So after the 30 seconds, um, you just stand there and stare aimlessly into the distance. Like what's, what's the goal? I mean, obviously you, you capture them with your lead almost like being a journalist here, yeah. capture with the lead paragraph of who you are and what you do. They give them your, your spiel, they give them the, your, they give you their spiel, which is always over 30 seconds, always happens. You might be 
you perfectly down to 30 seconds, they'll take three and a half minutes. That's how it works. And let's say you read the book too, and then it's a dream conversation. But so what happens after you each, you know, give your intros? Like, like how does this, how do you bring it about more? Yeah, so a lot of things, um, you know, a lot of people get the 30 second message a little bit mixed up. Like a lot of times your 30 second message is really about that introduction when you're kind of going around the room. Mm-hmm. You don't. it's not necessarily what you're going to say when you're face to face with an individual. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing to remember when you're face to face with an individual is give them a very succinct, like a really strong one line statement that tells people exactly what you do and who you serve. So it kind of boils that 30 seconds down into an even more narrow window, yeah. um, but it really gives them a, a real good taste of what you do. And then the conversation is, oh my gosh, tell me more. How do you do that? What do you mean? Uh, and really yeah. having great questions, right? So knowing the questions to ask is just as important when uh, as having a really good message when you're in 30, in that networking environment. It's awesome. And, you know, when you... And you, in your book, I mean, you cover everything in here. I mean, you think 30 seconds, well, how, how, how could you write 133 pages about 30 seconds? Um, well, in the book, there's stuff about the follow-up. There's things about networking in here, uh, about your brand and how you, you know, get feedback from people. How And also how to craft the message, which I think is really crucial. A lot of people are like, I'm a chiropractor. Okay, it doesn't tell me how are you, all right. I know everyone knows what a chiropractor is, but what makes you special? Why do I give a crap? All right, good. Why do I give a crap? You know, so tell us a little bit more about that. Like, how does like the process? I mean, you have the book that anyone can go on Amazon, pick it up today. I think it's also on Kindle, right, though? It is available on Kindle. As a matter of fact, I think Amazon is actually out right now. Um, they're they're Ooh. getting more. Um, but you can also get it on Barnes and Noble. Oh, Barnes and Noble, yeah. they're still around, so they can't forget yeah. about Barnes. Yeah, and Barnes and Noble online. <laughs> online, exactly, because we, we right. can find them around there. But yeah, yeah. But you also yeah. have a whole consultancy around the Thirty mm-hmm. Second Success brand, and I do. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so as far as the book, and you were to ask, your first question was about you know just the the model that I use is something that I learned years ago when I was in direct sales. We there's direct sales is one of those, uh, you know, network marketing is one of those things that people a lot of a lot of times find themselves shying away from because it has gotten a bad rap. The thing that I love about network marketing is the amount of training they give to their members. They really invest in teaching their members the right way to approach people to build relationships. And that's what networking is really all about. It's about building relationships and really connecting on an emotional level with your audience. Mm -hmm. And that's what that formula really is about. I took a a formula that I had learned years ago. Like I said, marketing 101, you know, it's it's what all the advertisers have used for years because it works. Yeah. And I, and I made it work for me. And then I was, I actually had stepped into a leadership role with a professional women's business network. And when I stepped into that role, I saw so many people struggling with their 30 second message. You were and, surprised. And it was painful. Yeah. It was painful. Like how many people struggle. And I'm like, people would say what they did and, and how they did. And I'm looking at like, that's so not what she does. Oh my gosh, I need to help her. So I started helping people and then word got out that I was helping people. And I got a lot of requests to come and speak to other organizations and awesome. help them understand because it's not just your 30 second message. What do you do once you deliver it, right? How are yeah. you networking? How are you building those relationships? What are power partners all about? Yeah. Uh, so that's the biggest piece where the consultancy came in. It was, you know, that light bulb moment where I was ready to do something, kind of step out of, of the network marketing and the direct sales arena and start something that was really foundational and was yeah. life changing. Um, in, in a way that would impact many, many lives. And that's what I wanted to be able to do is give people something that would make their lives easier. That's awesome. So, you know, teaching the formula, teaching people how to use it, and then going deeper in helping them, you know, like my byline is ditch the pitch and start connecting. Yeah. Because it's really, you know, it's not about telling people, you know, like if you pitch someone, you expect them to just decide right then and there whether they're going to buy from you. Well, in reality, that's not how we work these days. It's relational. How do you make me feel? How do I feel when I'm in your presence? Are you willing to help me even if I don't buy from you? What do, yeah, you never what, know when I buy later, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's just it. Or, or they may not be your ideal client, but guaranteed they're going to know who your ideal client is. If you tell them, hey, these are the people I'm looking to connect with. If you know someone who's struggling with X, that'd be a great, uh, a great um, in, introduction for me. So having the ability to have those conversations, a lot of people don't know how to ask even for referrals. Yeah, oh, exactly. Asking for referrals is the hardest thing because you feel like it's, it should just come to you, but like sometimes people just don't think mm -hmm. to give you a referral like, or it doesn't come up. And then if, instead of you say, you know, hey, referrals are great. You know, that's what our business is built on. Can you give us a referral? They're like, oh, yeah, of course. I love what you did for me. Well, of course, you know, why didn't you ask us for it? Yeah, 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 this, that kind of thing. So, I mean, so you, so you literally took some knowledge you had, refined it, and turned it into a whole entire business, complete with a book. Right. Yeah. I love it. And then so you do, so what kind of things do you do for your clients? I mean, I know you speak at, you know, workshops and do webinars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. What, what other stuff do you do? Yeah. So a lot of the, the workshops and the um, presentations that I do, I actually teach the 30 second formula that and That's help them awesome. understand how to implement it and how to and how to use it correctly. But teaching also the, the side of networking and, and everything that's in the book, basically, <laughs> it's like everything is in the book. It's like a brain dump from what I teach when I'm in front of an audience. Um, and then when I work with corporate clients, one of the biggest, my corporate clients, um, the big piece there is teaching professionals how to have that internal message and how to have the external message so that your whole workforce becomes part of your marketing strategy. I call it my workforce marketing model. Um, which is, you know, a strategy where you give your whole workforce information about what the company's doing, how you're doing, you know, what projects do you have coming up, any new products that you're rolling out, give them the information, let them know who's running that project so that if they're having a conversation with someone, they can then say, oh, we're working on that, da, 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 da. and if somebody asks them for more information, they know who to connect them with, right? And implementing a refer, if they, I can't tell you how many companies that I've spoken to ha who have a referral program that's not even being used because they don't because educate they don't their employees. It. Exactly. They don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. You got, if you don't talk about it, it doesn't exist. Like there's a tree fall in the woods and or there's a website built and no one knows it's there. Does it exist? I mean, the tree does, the website not necessarily. So yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so and that's, so, a, you know, yeah. in my corporate program, that's what I work on. And when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, I have individual coaching clients. I will literally write their commercials for them. I help them work through it. We practice it. We kind of go through that defining moment of helping them figure out what their message is. Because nine times out of 10, they could tell me more about what I do than what they themselves do. They Isn't just right? don't know, yeah. haven't been able to find the words. So we kind of go do a dip, big deep dive and figure out what it is that their their messaging really is all about and who they're trying to connect with. And nine times out of ten, the the ever I I've been blown away by how many people have said, "Oh my gosh, you found the words that I've been struggling to find for years." Like oh, you awesome. you see me, yeah, you know, and it's just it's almost like a counselor. You're like a, you're like a networking counselor. <laughs> There you go. I, hey, maybe I should maybe I should use, that, use that instead I'll of networking. That. That's system. awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I mean, yeah. so people can go to thirty second success dot com. That's thirty second success dot com. No ass after the seconds. That throws me every time. I go like, oh, there's only there's no s there. So, but um. And so you said the Amazon is out of your book right now. It means it's that popular. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. awesome that people are like finding it and they're reading it. And mm -hmm. you can see my little, my little quote in the very beginning, which I love. I'm, like, I'm a networker. I network quite a bit. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah. So it's awesome. And yeah, so, so literally your entrepreneurial journey was kind of defined for you. You were in network sales. You were in direct marketing. You were, you know, went into a woman's business. And that parlayed into a whole entrepreneurial journey for you. Absolutely. And how's that, how's that been for you? Like, I mean, you know, having the, the entrepreneurial lifestyle, I won't lie, it is not easy. No. You know, too many people think it's going to be easy. It's going to be breeze. You have to remember there's there's the, you know, there's the creative entrepreneur who has the idea, right? Mm -hmm. But then there's the 
business side of entrepreneurial entrepreneurism because a lot of people don't understand it is running it you are running a small business even if it's only one like if even if it's yeah, just you, it's you know and and i think that the hardest thing for me has always been and, and i i'm sure you'll agree with this it's the marketing side right yeah it's, it's the marketing market that yeah. constant marketing of yours and when you're your brand it, it's mm. it and you're you know i don't know about you know, so many people who step into this, like n not really wanting to be the face of your company, but technically you're the face of your company. And you're, you are the bottle washer, the chef, the maitre d', mm -hmm. the waiter, you're everything. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, that was, I think that's the hardest thing that I've had to adjust to was looking at it from as a business. And then I go, and then I was like, okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> So, you know, like, what's, yeah. a, what's a PL sheet? Like, right. I, uh, I still, I'm still struggling with the PL yeah. sheets. I'm still yeah. like, what am I looking at here? Yeah, oh, exactly. Ah, that's not good. Or that is and, good. Oh. Yeah. And, but that's why it's so important to have a network because you start to draw the people in that can support you and educate you. Like, my team, like, I feel like I already have a board of directors without actually having a board of, like, I've got a financial advisor, I've got a bookkeeper, I've got my CPA. I've got, you know, I've got a, um, a marketing consultant, my website designer, yeah. all these people who are willing to give me the advice that I need when I need it, yeah. right? Or put me in the right direction so I can get the help that I need. It's brilliant. And that's what you, you gotta know? do is surround yourself with, with like my people, people that you know, like, and trust all that good stuff, you know? Yeah. So where are you most active online? If people wanted to interact with you, are you are you a big LinkedIn person or? I yeah, my 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 biggest presence is on LinkedIn. I do have um, a presence elsewhere, Facebook, you know, Instagram, yeah. Twitter, but I am mostly active on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, somebody who was very wise once advised me, I don't, you don't have to be everywhere. Be where your people are. You are your tribe is absolutely, and that's the key. Yeah, and I, and and I really have found my LinkedIn. home at LinkedIn. I feel like you know, I, I really LinkedIn's gotten good. Home. Yeah, LinkedIn's gotten really good lately with their with their features and stuff, mm -hmm. and they've really made it sticky. Whereas before, it's a resume. Yeah, and I think they're listening to their audience. That's the biggest thing. I mean, when you have people like Bryn Tillman, who's been with LinkedIn yeah. since since LinkedIn started. Yeah. And she's teaching people how to use LinkedIn well. And then she's taking that information back to LinkedIn when there's a challenge. Yeah. And LinkedIn's listening. They are listening to they their listen, audience. They value their community. Unlike some others. <laughs> 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 mm, sorry. Some, mm. I had a Zuck in my throat. Here, <laughs> you know. I mean, but it's true. I mean, LinkedIn's always taking everyone's advice. I mean, they mm. might not always implement everything, but they take it into consideration. And I, I guarantee you a lot of... What, what is put in has been done because people have said we want X. Right. And there's things that are, are half-baked. There are probably things that weren't, like the, the stories feature that's going away now. Mm -hmm. I started using that. It's kind, of, it's kind of fun, but it was kind of like, LinkedIn? Really? Mm -hmm. eh. I think that was more like, oh, we can do that too. Right. Yeah, we shouldn't do that too, and they're getting rid of it now. Right. I still want my newsletter. I want a LinkedIn newsletter, and they have not given it to me yet, and I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting. I want I want that feature, but you know, I have I have a tw two thousand or three thousand followers on there that I could reach reach if I had a newsletter. I'm like, oh well, I guess mm. I'm waiting. I guess I'm not that important. Um, well, you know, you can just keep putting the request in. Yeah, I do. I, I badgered them enough. They first said, "Please stop." We'll let you know. <laughs> That's Either that or you know, like I said, you know, we do have a we do have an inbred. Just let Bryn know what you want. Exactly. Bryn, Bryn has their ear. Yeah, she's amazing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and she's I, gonna be on the show in a few weeks, actually. So that'll be fun. Awesome, awesome. I, I yeah. love Bryn. She's so she's fantastic. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I will absolutely. Yeah. So, Laura, thank you for being on the show. You know, we'll make it quick because we know you're busy. You got to craft some more thirty seconds for people and teach people how to do it the right way, which is key. If you, if people out there want to subscribe to the show, you can go to Entrepreneurs Enigma. Not entrepreneur is probably one of the hardest words I have to spell. It's it's French, I think. So that's the problem there. Entrepreneur. And then you can also, if you love the show, review us. Yeah, there you go. Love the show. Be sure to review us in the podcast directory of your choice. It does not have to be iTunes anymore, Apple Podcasts, or whatever they call it now. There's Podchaser out there. It's Podcast Index. So check it out. You know, if you want to leave us a review, that'd be fantastic. And Laura, this has been so much fun to catch up. It's been too long. 
Thank you so much for having me. This has been so much fun. Thank you. I really appreciate oh, yeah. it. And get her book. Get her book. It's worth its weight in gold. And it's, it's, it's a good half, too. Good. <laughs> hey, awesome. it's reasonably priced. So It is. Yeah. I don't know how much it was. It was $14.99. Still $14.99. There you That's go. $14.99. Not $15. $14.99. There you go. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And it's been it's been fun. It's been awesome. That was a great show. Hey, if you're enjoying Entrepreneur's Enigma, please give us a review on the podcast directory of your choice. We're on all of them. And these reviews really help others find the show. Also, if you're getting value from the show and want to buy me a coffee, go to the show notes and click on the link to help me stay awake while I bring you more great episodes to your ears. That's in the show notes, and I look forward to the next episode. Take care, guys. You may know you're listening to this show along the Marketing Podcast Network, but did you know there are other great shows on MPN to help your business? Tim Hines hosts a great podcast called the Marketing Starter Podcast. Tim, tell these fine folks what they're going to get when they listen. They're going to get great insights on how marketers can take an entrepreneurial attitude to what they do in marketing to be a little bit more successful. So I interview top marketers from all around the world and heck, even some that are bottom and middle. It's really about marketers who embody the entrepreneur spirit to be the best that they can be. Awesome. Where can people subscribe? They can, of course, subscribe on marketingpodcast.net, but they can also search for the show on all their favorite podcasting platforms, as well as visiting my website, which is tnhines.com slash podcast. You heard him. Go subscribe. This podcast is heard along the Marketing Podcast Network. For more great marketing podcasts, visit marketingpodcasts.net.